So I did not plan to start recording videos until this weekend so that I can post videos next week. But here we are because I just got this comment and I'm going to post it on here so that you guys can see it. And this is a comment that someone left under my stories on Instagram. Now, you can see my reaction because it was funny and I thought she was joking, but then I think she's serious. I really think she's serious because uh, um, I did not show the response that I got afterwards. But yes, at first I thought she was kidding, but then I realized that this girl is serious and this is so crazy to me. No, I'm staying at a hotel. I got up, I took a shower and I went downstairs to have breakfast because I wanted to, you know, get breakfast out of the way so that I can go back upstairs, get ready, do my hair, put my makeup on and go about my day. Now, I was staying at a four-star hotel in London and, and this happened recently. And of course, usually when I'm at hotels, I I get up and I go down for breakfast. I don't put makeup on because I don't have time for that. I am not going to wake up and put a, put on a full beat just to go downstairs to have breakfast buffet. Because most of the people, literally like 98% of the people that are having breakfast, they are not wearing makeup. They're not fully dressed or whatever. Um, not at a four-star hotel. And even when I stayed at five-star hotel, hotel, sorry, it was basically the same. So just in case anyone is confused, this is the comment. No earrings or eyebrows to breakfast. Shook face. What if you met a millionaire? Now, this is what I'm wearing. This is the video. As you can see, I have something on my lips, but I don't, I'm not wearing makeup. No eyebrows or nothing. I think I look good. It's not like I'm sitting up here in a bonnet. Like, I don't understand. Why do I need to wear jewelry and all that stuff? Uh, my skin looks good. I think I look presentable for breakfast. But then again, sometimes I wonder why people are like this. And you're doing too much when you think like this. Well, first of all, ladies... If you observe the four pillars of the physical level up, you wouldn't have to worry about walking around with a full beat, with like eyelashes and eyebrows. And the four pillars of level up is you got to have good skin. You got to have good teeth. You have to be in shape. What was the other one? Teeth, skin, hair, and being in shape. Okay. If you have those four things covered, it doesn't matter what you put on, you will always be presentable. You will always look good. So my skin, I have pretty good skin for a woman in my 40s. And I have the confidence to go out without makeup. Sometimes if I go without makeup, I would put on my sunglasses. And, you know, sometimes I'll put some eyebrows on because I refuse to get um micro bleeding. I'm not going to do that because... Um, it's basically a tattoo and I am not a fan of tattoos. So there's no way I would be tattooing makeup. And, you know, sometimes I'll put on a little bit of gloss or something like that. But, you know, many times I would go out without foundation. In that video that I posted, I was wearing something on my lips. But, you know, I had no eyes, eyelashes or eyebrows on. Because, I, again, I don't do eyelash extensions. I just use the strip eyelashes when I'm putting on my makeup. And when I'm done... And I remove my makeup, I remove the lashes, and I go to bed. But my skin is pretty good, and I'm not ugly, and I look pretty good for my age. So I have no issues going downstairs for breakfast at a hotel without makeup on. All right? So there's that. Secondly, I do not put millionaires, billionaires, basically rich people, old money people. I don't put none of these people on a pedestal. I don't. I have done an event on my Patreon where I basically talk about, you know, stop pedestalizing the wealthy and the beautiful. I'll post um, a screenshot of it here. Um, if you're searching this event, type replay first and then, you know, the, the playback to this event, the recording should come up if you've missed it. But I highly recommend that you go and you listen to that if you are on the Patreon. If you're not on a Patreon, I would encourage you to sign up today. I mean, I have a lot of content on Patreon and I've covered 
many different topics over the years. So anyways, one of the things I teach women is to not put wealthy people, wealthy men, wealthy people on a pedestal. And there are two reasons for that. Reason number one is if you put wealthy people or wealthy men on a pedestal, you will always feel like you have to do so much to impress them and so much for them to like you. And it puts you in a chasing energy. And if you have someone on a pedestal, it means that that person is the prize. We do not put men on a pedestal here, not over here. We don't put men on pedestals. We don't put quote unquote high value men on a pedestal. We don't put millionaires on a pedestal. We don't do that. You have to approach these people as if they're your peers because they are. Rich people are just like me and you. Unfortunately, I know people don't like to hear this and you know we want to believe that they're special, but in reality, they are not special because if you have ever have to work with these people, go to events with these people, have conversations with these people, rub shoulders with these people, you would realize that they are just like me and you. They are normal people. The only difference between you and them is their bank account. That's it. Because... If you are in the same circle, if you are in, uh, in the same place, in the same room as these people, first of all, you belong there and you are one of them. If I'm in a room with a millionaire, I belong there. And that millionaire is my, is my peer because guess what? He's in the same room. He or she is in the same room with me. So if I were to meet a millionaire, I wouldn't think, well, oh my God, this person is a millionaire. No, I would see this person as my peer. And if I have a conversation with this person, I would speak to this person on their level. Because technically, we are literally on the same level. This is the problem we have. And this is a problem that you're going to have if you are a woman that is in a hypergamous journey. You will struggle to appear as a high-value woman that you're trying to be. Because a quote-unquote high-value woman, and I don't like to use that term, but I can't think of a, a proper term. I can't, I can't come up with a, with a word for it. But, you know, if there's a, a good word for it, if you have a word for it, like type it in the comments because we need to replace the term high value um, woman or high value man. But if you're a woman of a substance, a woman of culture, a woman of class, how would people know this if you have other people on a pedestal? The only person that should be on a pedestal is yourself. Stop pedestalizing the people that you admire. Stop pedestalizing celebrities, influencers, and rich people, and beautiful people, and white people, and whatever people that you think that are better than you. Because if you have them on a pedestal, and you think that, you know, you should have on eyebrows and, and, and makeup in order for you to meet a millionaire and be accepted by a millionaire, you have that person on a pedestal. Unfortunately, you do. If you've ever been around real millionaires, you would know that Wealthy women are not always running around here with a full beat. Wealthy women take care of their skin so that they can go without makeup when and if they can. Wealthy women are not walking around with a full beat 24-7. Come on, ladies. Come on. Now, back to pedestalizing wealthy men. It is foolish to put a wealthy man on a pedestal, especially if that wealthy man or so-called high-value man is not spending his money on you, is not giving you the time of day, and you feel like you have to prove your worth to this man because you know he's wealthy. That, in my opinion, is scarcity mindset because I can tell you that there are many more of where he came from. There's many more from where he came from. There are a lot of wealthy men around. There's enough to go around. You cannot have a scarcity mindset. You need to have an abundance mindset. And feeling like, you know, you need to be on all the time, 24-7, that's old school level of advice. We are, no, we are no longer in the year 2018, 2019. We have passed that stage. We have worked on ourselves. We have invested in ourselves. You have invested in your inner peace. You have been invested in yourself financially. You have level up your financial situation or your financial status you have level up your social status you have like honestly if you were doing all of that and social climbing and stuff like that you wouldn't be thinking like this okay because if you believe that you are one of them you're not going to have these thoughts because i can tell you that wealthy people do not have anything to prove they do not feel like they need to prove anything to anyone i have been around wealthy people that look so plain literally like plain jeans 
and plain pubs or whatever you want to call it, okay, they look so plain. I have accepted the fact that most most likely I'm going to be the best dressed person in the room because number one, that has always been me. Um, number two, that is something that we have been taught when coming into the Level Up community and it is what it is, okay? If you came from that Level Up era where we were told to always look feminine, always dress well, whether he is getting your hair done, getting your nails, nails done or whatever, you ha you have by now, especially if you've been working on yourself and putting in the work and networking, you would have observed by now that you are more than likely the best dressed person in that room, in a room of people with status and wealth, believe it or not. So even though the wealthy woman in the group is quote unquote dressed down and looks plain, Sometimes that those plain clothes that she's wearing are very expensive because at the end of the day, wealth signaling is a thing and there are things that wealthy people do to signal to other wealthy people that they are wealthy. And if you do not know what those signals are, you are just fooling yourself at this point. You are just wasting your time. So stop it. Stop putting these people on a pedestal. Be the best version of yourself. Continue to do you. Be the best version of your authentic self and just do you and go about your business. And you've got to start seeing yourself as one of them. You have to start identifying with these people because that is literally the only way that you will be able to attract more wealth into your life, more wealthy people into your life. And it's the only way that you will make genuine connections with these people. Because if you always feel like you have to put on a face and put on a front and put on something it means that you see these people above you. You have elevated these people above you. You have these people on a pedestal. And this is one of the reasons why I was able to do so well on my social climate journey because I joined the NGOs. I joined the different organizations. I'm sitting on the board on one of those organizations as well. I've been on the committees. And the reason why I was able to, to move into these circles so success, successfully with ease is because I always felt like I belonged there and I always felt and believed that I was one of them. I never put these people on a pedestal. I used to do that back in my 20s. And I'm telling you, if I started my social up-leveling journey back in my 20s, I would have failed. I would have failed because I would have gone in there with the wrong mindset and thinking that I have to prove myself to these people and I have to do, do the, basically do the most. You ain't got to prove yourself to nobody because nobody is above you. Nobody is above you. And, you know, I really wanted to come in here and talk about this because this comment is obviously from someone that is not subscribed to my Patreon. This is someone that is probably not in my Facebook group, even the free ones. And this is probably someone that probably doesn't really watch my YouTube YouTube videos because if you've been following me for a while, you all know what I teach. And one of the things that I always tell you ladies, in order for you to have a successful, in order for you to successfully elevate yourself socially, you have to stop putting people on a pedestal, particularly people with wealth, and that also includes old money and new money. I don't care what it is. Stop putting these people on a pedestal. See these people as your peers. Because they can tell the energy that you give off when you put someone on a pedestal. People can feel that energy and it's a huge turn off. Okay? I hate when people pedestalize me. I don't like it. And I can tell when some people do. And it's so uncomfortable. Especially if you run into these people in person. It's so uncomfortable. Stop doing it. Just stop putting people on a pedestal. Stop. Yeah. Go on and check out that event that I did back on the Patreon if you missed it. And um, then let me just share a quick announcement with you ladies since I'm already here. I am going to be starting a social climbing series on my Patreon. I will announce it very soon, but it's going to be, it should be in the first week in July. And it's a series that is going to go on for several weeks. I'll basically be starting from top to bottom and giving giving you step-by-step -step advice and tips on how to elevate your social status and to obtain social privilege. That's basically what um, that series will be about because I've talked about social climbing. 
and getting, you know, I've been talking about social climbing for years, but, you know, it's, I know it's difficult to go through hundreds and hundreds of videos and content and go back years of content to get all that content. I know it's difficult to do that. So I have decided that I'm going to condense all of it into a series. Okay. And if you're interested, look out for it. I'm going to create a new tier on my Patreon and it's going to be that particular tier. I'm looking forward to, to this new series. I'm actually quite excited. So anyways, I think I said what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening.